Hi! Today I wanted to talk about energy bits. So uh, Kelly has given everyone an opportunity to contact energy bits and to see if this company would like to send them samples for them to review and try out. And I actually received my small sample of energy bits um, sometime maybe a few days ago while I was on vacation. And I had the opportunity to try it uh, right before run. And I'm um, going to preface this by saying that I'm used to taking a pre-workout supplement called uh, No Explode. <laughs> and the name kind of says it all. Uh, you feel kind of jittery. Um, you know, your heart beats you know, really, really fast. And I get a little flushed. I was told that these effects would kind of wean off. Um, after a while, you know, after I get used to taking it, I could maybe, you know, amp up the dosage a little bit, but I still can't. It's still kind of like this almost nauseating feeling, um, maybe 30 minutes to an hour into taking this, um, no explode supplement. I, I don't think it's for me, so I might be giving that to my brother or something, but I decided to give, uh, these energy bits a shot, and, uh, they're 100% spirulina, and it's kind of algae, and you take between 20 to 60 tabs uh, at a time, uh, maximum of 300. So my tin is probably just a little sample uh, size of it, and I took 30, um, you know, maybe 20 minutes before I decided to go head out and run, and I had so much energy, and it's not that, like, crazy kind of energy where you have... Um, an uncomfortable heart rate increase. I did get a little flushed, but I didn't get like that jittery caffeine sort of kick that I got with other supplements, which, you know, completely makes sense. This is all natural. Um, company actually wants you to think of this as food, not supplements. Uh, the difference being that supplements, of course, are manufactured in labs. You know, these are all synthesized chemicals, parts of, uh, you know, vitamins and minerals that are all put together so that it forms the little pill that you take um, or, you know, the powder that you take. Um, these uh, algae are grown and harvested and so your body processes them naturally. You don't have these, like, high incidences of toxicity in your blood. Um, so, you know, your bodily will readily, bodily, <laughs> your body will readily absorb this and, um, because they're in their amino acid form of protein, it's much quicker to absorb than, say, you ate uh, a big hunk of meat, which is, you know, all protein fibers. Uh, it takes more time for your body to break down. So this is really fast, provides you with fast energy. I mean, it's great. And I think the only thing I don't like so much that I can definitely live with is the fact that, I mean, they don't taste amazing. They don't taste awful either. Um, so I don't want to chew them, and when I did chew them, they do turn your saliva a little bit green, but that's not something that you can't fix with a big gulp of water or something. Um, totally negligible, uh, disadvantage, um, if that. So, um, the literature that came with this, uh, sample was actually, like, really interesting. Um, so there are different kinds that this company sells. They have skinny bits, of course, which are meant for detoxification and, you know, weight loss. They have recovery bits. Um, I am missing one more, but I will include the website at the bottom of this video so you can check it out. Uh, so there are a lot of different options for you. These are all algae, you know, some of them with chlorella, some with spirulina, different um, percentages of each. Um, but these are really great. and. Uh, I think the most interesting part is that you can think of it as an on-the-go snack. So if you don't want a sugary, you know, granola bar, you can take, um, you know, maybe half of the large 300-tab tin and think of it as, like, that's 150 calories. That's, that's your snack. That's food. So I guess it probably helps if you do chew it because then, you know, your brain processes it processes it as like a snack that you're consuming and um, not just like this giant uh, bunch of pills that you're swallowing. So that's something to think about too. Um, apparently it's been used in Asia for a long, long time 
And I mean, I'm not new to the idea of taking algae. Um, I'm half Chinese, so uh, we've been taking spirulina, you know, on and off um, as children. But I know my mom has taken spirulina before. I mean, my granddad's a huge proponent of like all kinds of natural herbal remedies and stuff. So um, apparently, also NASA uses these because of their high protein content. There's 64 percent of protein in these tabs. Uh, so, you know, think about it, it's a lot easier to ingest this and you get the nutrients that you need and you don't have to worry about, you know, allergies or, uh, you know, any kind of chemical toxicity in your bloodstream. So these are really great and um, I'm actually looking to see if energy bits or, you know, skinny bits are the right ones for me, but I'm definitely looking into these. So hopefully you will too.